to the resolution of the House. It's the second day of this investigative hearing being conducted by the House Committee on Public Procurement. The committee is looking into allegations of violation of the Public Procurement Act in the engagement of contractors for pre-shipment inspection and monitoring of crude oil and gas exports. The hearing commenced without the Minister of Finance, who was summoned by the committee the day before for failing to appear. The chairman of the committee informs those gathered that the minister says she will appear in the course of the day's session. The central bank is then invited to make its presentation. The next technical committee is not involved in the selection process of the PIAs and the monitoring and evaluation agents to inadequate communication, no directive on the appointment, renewal of PIAs and MEAs despite their continuous services. When the committee heard that the National Petroleum Thank Investment Management Services is yet to disburse $20 million meant for the 2016 budget, it seeks to know the whereabouts of the funds. It's not in Nigeria, sir. That's what I wanted to let you know. This money is in Central Bank. I tell all this in Central Bank. It's petition account money. Central Bank. Well, I can't confirm that at this point. I can't confirm because there are many accounts and I cannot confirm whether this money was transferred. The committee also heard from other government agencies and for one member, everything points at one direction. So it goes back to Ministry of Finance. And, uh, Honorable Procurement. Africa. The House then arrives at this resolution. That the Honorable Minister of Finance, Honorable Minister for Works, Housing and Power, that both of them should cause appearance on Tuesday by 10, 10 a.m. unfailingly. The committee says it is determined to ensure that government policies are implemented for the benefit of the country and if need be, the relevant legislations will be amended to ensure that this is done. Lanre Lassese, Channels Television News.